this channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Today, I would like to comment on what happened when Tipster talked to Augie RC, who had trouble comprehending the simple understanding that, in my view, doesn't need to be terribly explained to someone who hasn't been fully developed yet. So, Tipster was trying to explain that this community, in particular the commentary community, was an unhealthy place for Tipster to be in, and he decided to leave. He then explains that he hasn't been interacting with the other side of that particular part of the community, the commentary community, and on the other side, asked if the area around his show has become too toxic for Tipster, and then Tipster said to some extent that yes, it has been toxic because it genuinely, truly was in the healthy place for him to be in that group. Tipster says he found himself getting into stupid situations where he was responding to shit that he probably shouldn't have bothered with that he probably should have ignored. So that might prompt Tipster to leave that commentary community. He wanted what was best for him, and I'll get received as who are the fucking assholes, and then Tipster says that he likes to make that kind of content that he likes to, that he makes, but he says that the content wasn't the problem. It's the people in that community that creates that content. And I can kind of see where he's obviously going with this because there are a lot of negative topics that most of us choose because negativity brings up more engagement. For instance, some commentary YouTubers like Poncho and Achito talk about talk negatively about transgender people. So that's some of the examples for what Tipster might be talking about when it comes to this community. But some of us in this community can also choose positive topics and talk about that. On the RC then says he's vague as fuck because he thinks Sipster isn't being very clear. But people like me know that it's hard to really explain things in a clear and more concise manner. On the RC, he wanted to know if it's him or Nick. Is it their actions? Is it how they acted? Is it their community? Is it their chat? And then Tipster says that on the RC was saying, Tipster said that this isn't cheating, but I gotta be honest, big X to doubt, which could be the reason why Tipster wanted to leave. Augie and wonder if he contributed to people saying that he cheated on his wife by saying that, or if Tipster was personally offended by Augie or C saying that. Tipster says to some extent, yeah, but he doesn't think that uh, that was Augie or C's intention. Tipster goes on to explain that the DMC had Augie or C in the past, says he thinks that Augie or C's audience don't understand sometimes that it's a joke and that his audience takes it seriously. They think it's a real thing. Augie R.C. then says, okay, if you're talking about the APDM signing, you were fucking flirting with her in private, right? And Tipster says, no, not really. Fast forward 10 minutes later, he says that he jokes with a lot of friends, both privately and publicly, and he says that mainly Augie R.C. and his friends never noticed that Tipster makes those kinds of jokes. He also says she later came out and admitted that there was nothing between us. He continued on to say that his friend, that this friend of that Tipster knows, apologized to him and his wife for everything that happened. But he sees that people still believe that there was something between him and her 
and it's just not the case. Dipster says that they're jokes. They're fucking jokes. And then on the Gary C says there's just so many and it's in private. And so he wanted to know who's the joke for. But Dipster says at the end of the day, what well, doesn't matter. His wife is aware of it and he, she doesn't give a shit about it. Dipster says that his wife is okay with him making these kinds of jokes and he doesn't see what the issue is. Nearly 17 minutes later, Dipster says he thinks couples has changed. But all he ever sees says he just doesn't see that. He goes on to say everything from her public social media indicates that she has not changed at all. Dipster says, how? Can you elaborate? And then Augie RC brings up that she's celebrating the fucking Matt Welsh stuff. And Dipster doesn't see celebrating as advocating for someone being deflatwarmed. And I would like to take a, mo- a quick moment to remind everyone in the commentary community that Matt Walsh is a racist, misogynistic, and transphobic piece of shit. So I don't get why IERC would be worried about people like that being deplatformed. I just think that it's childish to hate someone who probably loves to see someone like Matt Walsh who deserves to be deplatformed by YouTube for saying the n-word in a tweet. Fast forward to 20 minutes and a half later, Augie RC asks the question that Tipster keeps talking about his mental health by saying you don't think that it's it's bad to end your disability on your mental health on a community that gives you support online. Isn't that a pretty dangerous place? His sister says he's not hinging his support on a community he made friends with people who are very supportive of him, but he feels that these he feels that these guys think that he's gone to the couple's community and it's like her whole community is just this big, big hug box for him, but he says he's just friends with her as a person. On the other, he says the reason why he thinks Tips that Tipster is invested in is because his reasoning for leaving the commentary community is that it made his mental health feel like shit. So the implications that when Tipster goes to the couples community, it's better for your mental health. But Tipster isn't there for couples community. He's there for her. Tipster gave another example that when he used to hang out with Augie or see streams and he's not there for Augie's community. He's, he was there to hang out with him. And that makes sense because that's how I also watch someone's video or live streams. Like, I'm not there for the Twitch streamers community. I'm there to watch my favorite small Twitch streamers play a video game or just chatting. I'm not there for the YouTubers community. I'm there because I found their content interesting to watch. Augie ever see is trying to piece that together. Tipster is saying that he left the commentary community because it was negatively affecting his mental health. Then he says that he hasn't replaced it with any community. He just left the commentary community. Tipster says he left the commentary community and then he made other friends that he engages with regularly. Augie MC says, in that case, does Tipster think that it's, that it's a little bit of a bad idea to hedge this st- st- stability for mental health and random people he just met online? But Augie MC doesn't realize how long Tipster has been talking to couples. 
Tipster says he's been talking with her for quite some time. Augie RC said he guessed that it was around the time she was interacting with his community. Then he questioned, saying, Why? What the fuck? What the fucking point of, you know? Tipster says we started talking and they clicked. That's it. Augie RC says, but Tipster fully trusts them with everything or whatever. After like two or three months of content, he doesn't know and it seems strange to him. And when I watched Tipster's YouTube video as Augie RC said this, I'm just like, dude, it's not strange to meet new friends that you claim are, are scumbags or used to be scumbags in the past just because they for example, block people like me for liking your tweet about her last year, or that they support deplatforming someone who is a known racist, sexist, and homophobic. Like, have you not understood that people themselves can change? Tipster then says he's just a friendly fucking guy, so he doesn't think it's an issue for him to be friends with certain people. And Augie RC still doesn't get it because as he's trying to tr trying to say to him, there's just so many fucking problems that he then says you should not be going to people online to hedge your mental health and he says he's not policing to say, but of course, Augur C is finding trouble to use the right words because he can't really comprehend what he's trying to say to. So then he says he's just like telling him honestly, like, dude, you talk to people for like two, three months, you open up to them and shit like that. They fuck you over every single time or whatever and then he claims he's not saying that internet people aren't his friends or anything like that but they shouldn't be your closest friends that's for sure and that's he still can't get over this clip of tipster saying tipster talking about suicide shit or whatever or whatever but tipster says he didn't say that he was committing suicide what tipster said was in a really dark place. He was in a bit of a mental health crisis and he needed to make changes in his life to do to improve that. It really had nothing to do with him being suicidal at all. And then after that, then after Tipster says at the end of the day, Augie RC chuckled and said, this conversation is goofy as fuck. Tipster says he was open to have his conversation with Augie RC and says he figured this is what Augie RC wanted to tip tipster about. And Augie RC says, I don't know, bro. I mean, I'm just saying, like, to me, everything you're doing, like, give the answers you're giving me or whatever I'm hearing, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Augie RC says he's just saying that tipster is taking like his fucking problems of his mental health on, out on a fucking community that he really don't think has much to do to do with it all he ever see says it's m more so just how like how you perceive things on the fucking internet and as a small commentator, I'm baffled and embarrassed on behalf of the commentary community that RC is not understanding something that is clearly simple to understand. Okay, so continuing on, RC says if Tipster is gonna ever come back home, and by that he does mean the commentary community, but Tipster then says he's not coming home. He says he's really truly felt it was an unhealthy place for him and he needed to leave for the betterment of him and he's 
in the best place mentally. He has been in a long time. Fast forward a little bit to the 29 minute mark. Aguirre C says that he doesn't know what that means. He says he doesn't know what that is. And then he said, and he then says, it is the drama content. Is it the drama content? But then Tipster quickly says, I don't know how to explain it to you. Augie followed up by saying, I don't know what there is to explain, right? And then says, I don't, I don't know. I literally don't know. Augie then wants to know what he's doing right now that's bad that he should probably stop doing if it's eating his soul inside. Then Augie R.C. continues to struggle, so he comes back to the sentence from the conversation, from this conversation, saying that Tipster is saying that Augie R.C. is part of a toxic fucking negative, and Augie stops himself to say, I'm just trying to figure out what that means. Tipster says again, it was a toxic place for him, is what he's saying. At least well, Bo Blacks had to come to an understanding what Tipster was saying when he came to China at the last 10 minutes of this discussion. I wanted to take a moment to clarify a couple of things I didn't communicate well in this conversation. After having some time to revisit the conversation and reflect on it, I realized I couldn't find the words to vocalize my points in the moment. So here it goes. When I said that I felt I was becoming a toxic person myself, what I was referring to was engaging in social media dog piles. Criticism of someone in content is one thing, but the social media dog piles and constant antagonizing of these people, especially on Twitter, I feel goes too far. And in my opinion, it ventures into legitimate harassment. In the past, I engaged in some of that behavior, and I regret it. I am not proud of my past instances of engaging in that type of behavior. Angie RC also talks about me hinging my mental health on couples and her community. It gives me the vibe that he thinks I am treating her and her community like a personal therapist which isn't the case. I have a therapist for that. But part of working on your mental health isn't just going to therapy, getting medicated, or other forms of medical and psychiatric treatment. It's also removing yourself from situations that are unhealthy for you, and that is what I am doing. In fact, Kaffles and I developed a relationship around the time I decided to make efforts to better myself, which included separating myself from unhealthy spaces. It is pure coincidence and it has nothing to do with my efforts towards my personal well-being and personal growth. Anyway, I just wanted to clarify these things I, because I felt I did a poor job of doing so in the moment. But I also want to thank you for all the feedback as well as the support. Making efforts to make positive change in your life isn't always easy and often involves tough decisions that are very difficult to make. So the support is definitely sincerely appreciated. Thank you. And you know what, Augie RC, I don't get why you can't comprehend at all about a simple explanation, so I'll just say this. Some human beings are toxic, and some of them live off toxicity online for many years. 
and they pass it along to their supporters who watch them online like YouTube. You just happen to be one of those people in the community, in the commentary community, who happen to be toxic. That's it. Plain and simple. Also, I disagree about Tipster going down on a really bad path or bad road, as you said. Besides, if I explain to somebody about why I need to take a break or leave this community, I'm not going to be trying to keep giving you some clear answers that you still don't even understand because you're not ready. You're only 21 right now, possibly turning 22 soon, and your brain is still a few more years away from full, 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 for, from full development. And it goes to show on the ERC that, you, that you're not even ready to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation if you can't comprehend a complete sentence because you're so puzzled by someone who you consider a friend is leaving because he doesn't want to be in a group of toxic online people. Maybe someday in four years you'll finally understand.